some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Municipal Courthouse in Colorado Springs, Colorado, with DMA, or Denver Metrologist, or whatever you want to call him, Christy Boy, as some people like to call him. That's neither here nor there at this point. At any rate, he uh, tries to gain access into a restricted part of the building and ends up being denied complete access. So he turns into a whiny little crybaby. Oh, poor little Christy boy. Do you want to go back to your girlfriend's house? But I'm sure Sweet Tea Audits would just love to bake you a batch of warm chocolate chip cookies and uh, give you a, a glass of cold milk to go with it. And while you lay in your bed crying about it, the rest of us can sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You're at the municipal court here. Looks like Robert M. Isaac. This is here in Colorado Springs. So I just got done with City Hall over there, that building. Just came over here to check out the municipal courts. How can I help you today? Oh, just coming in. Just coming in. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? I want all your, everything that's in your pocket goes in the hole, please. You filming today? No courtrooms. No courtrooms. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Pardon me, sir, but do you know who you're talking to? You're talking to Chris Cordova of Denver Metro Audits. The man, the myth, the legend of the First Amendment auditing community, which makes him absolutely, positively nothing. That's right, he's absolutely, positively nothing. He contributes nothing to society. He will always be nothing. So you might as well just pay no mind to him. Well, pay some mind to him because, you know, he's going to be a disruptive influence here shortly. Check out the court administration. For assistance, please press button. We'll see if they'll let us in here. Hi, I, can I come in? Uh, may I ask who you are? I'm just a member of the public. Oh, hang on just one sec. Okay. So you wanted to just walk around and... I just, I was doing a tour of the whole area, and uh -huh. so I just wanted to check out the court administration. Okay, no. Yeah. Oh, and I can't um, you come You can in? schedule an appointment and we, I'll ask our court administrator if it's okay but oh so this is a restricted area over it here? is that's why we have right okay but it's open but you have to make an appointment um you know i need to get approval for that oh poor little dma just can't get his way because you know what, DMA, I don't know if you ever known this, but uh, anybody who's had a job knows that there are certain places that are off limits to the general public, and this appears to be one of them. So why don't you do a little bit of growing up and try to figure that out once you reach maturity? So you have to have approval to enter into this area, period? Well, it is a private area. Okay. Well, because it's just, I was just wondering, because it says for assistance, please press button right there, so. Well, like, assistance like, isn't really, I mean, that's like, are you having issues with your case? Do you need right. to speak? Do you need to schedule something? Do you need to know where you need to go? Gotcha. Uh, yeah, well, this, I mean, I'm on official business here. So. Are you filming me right now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So. Have a good day. Oh, okay, well, hey, hold on a second. <laughs> Wow, see you guys? Let's see how rude. <laughs> she's, she finds out that I'm filming and then she just shuts the door on me. I think that's Sandy. I mean, obviously you can come in here, but they choose who comes in. But that's what I'm saying, like, depending on what your business is, if your business is deemed to be good enough for them, then you can come back here. But I guess just like recording is not allowed. Um, so let's push the button again. Have you got an extra go-to 10 line? Yeah, push the button again, you butthurt little crybaby. I'm sure that will do wonders for you. Hello? 
Um, I have the marshals coming up right now, so if okay. you feel like you're going to be harassing today. Well, I wasn't harassing. I was just simply asking you some questions, you're, and you shut the well, door Well, did you face. ask me if you could video me? What, do I need your permission? Let me go get my phone. I'll be right back. Oh, you can, okay, sure. Are you going to record me, too? Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> this is going to be funny, guys. So this is Sandra. Can I ask what it is you want from us today? Well, I was, I was going to ask you some questions, but then you just kind of shut the door on my face. So. Well, because you um, were videoing me without right. asking my permission. But you're videoing me without asking, right? So I figured... So wow, there's such hypocrisy right there. So they need your permission to film you, but you don't need their permission to film them, huh? Wow. Who so, can play this game? So. Oh, that's fine. But here's the thing, Sandy, is that right now you're on the clock, right? So you're creating a public record. You know, there was one time where somebody filmed him and he wanted to FOIA request it. And he ended up filing it with the wrong people and uh, didn't get it for at least six more months after that. And he blamed everybody else around him except for himself and his own stupidity. So I'm going to get that footage off of your phone. Right? So I'm going to go do a public records request. And I'm going to get all that. So I'm letting you know, don't delete that because that would be a violation of CRS 18-8-114, which is abuse of public records. Okay. So I have you I'll on camera. I'll email it to you. Can you send me your email yeah, address? Actually, I'll that'd send be great. It to you. Just okay. send it straight to me. Yeah, that'd be I'll fine. Send, I'll send it to you. I'll give you my email. I'll email it to you. If you, if you email it to me, I won't go through the public records. You don't have to. I'll email it to okay, you. Okay, cool. So I don't understand why you have to be like this and rude to people, the members of the public, just because, because they have a camera. Because you're walking around our building, making people uncomfortable when so, we're trying to work and do our job. Well, I'm just trying to be friendly to everyone that I'm speaking with, but you're not friendly. And see, here's the thing is I have a constitutional right to do what I'm doing here. And you point out exactly where it says in the Constitution that you have the absolute right to do what you're doing. Otherwise... Quit acting like a crayon munching moron and let these people get back to work without you continuously bothering them. Right? And I do too. Oh yeah, you can take I'm a seat. citizen of this town too. Yeah, but you're a public employee though, right? And so that but means you're paid citizen. with tax dollars. Mm -hmm. So you should treat members of the public with respect. I always do. But you're not. You are rude to me. You shut the door in my face. Now you're coming out here recording me. Well, I don't think that the taxpayers pay you to sit here on your personal cell phone and record people who are exercising their First Amendment right. What do you think? I think that the funds that people are using to pay you could be allocated in a much more efficient way than you sitting here recording me. That's enough. Okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah, listen to him. So, are you gonna send me that or am I gonna have to go do a public record? It's a public request? record. Yes, it is. She's no, taking picture of me on the clock as a public record. And if you delete that, that's a crime, ma'am. 18-8-114, abuse of public records. Why you are you harassing prosecuted. me? I'm not harassing, ma'am. I'm trying to be friendly with you. Pardon me, ma'am. I do apologize, but this is this crayon-munching moron's way of being friendly. I mean, he was born with no uh, personality whatsoever. He was born with a few screws loose, and he wasn't exactly raised the right way. Oh, he doesn't exactly know the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Therefore, we all have to pay the price, not just you, ma'am. I apologize. But, I'm trying okay, to be friendly. Let's be friendly. Okay, you want to start over? We can start over. I'm being told by my supervisor to close the door. Okay, are you going to email me the footage or no. do I do public? No? Okay. Don't delete that. All right, guys. So we got Sandy over here who's a little bit ridiculous. And that's the thing, guys, is, is every, they always jump to harassing. You're harassing me. And if I had, you know, a dollar every time somebody told me that I was harassing, you know, that'd be like a paycheck right there. Uh, but the thing is, if I was literally harassing people every time that I get uh, told that I'm harassing, how come I'm not charged with harassment yet, right? People just throw that word harassment out all willy-nilly, you know? But exercising my First Amendment right, being totally friendly and peaceful, is not harassment, guys. So let's go figure out what we need to do to uh, do a public records request. Well, now I'm just going to end the video right here for now because you know what? The whole video was about an hour long. I mean, I'm not going to subject any of my viewers to that length of time to have to listen to this moron.
So tomorrow I will work on the uh, FOIA request video, so it will be much easier to watch, because you know what? It is uh, rather funny too, but you know what? Who wants to watch all that? Let's just get to the good parts. Well now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.